Hello, welcome to the latest video uh, looking at clean room issues in around five minutes. Why is Tim holding a knife? Has he gone crazy? Well, not quite. Um, but inspired by, um, by Richard, I wanted to look at clean room contamination from a different perspective. And I'd like to do that illustrated with the humble onion. So I have a red onion here. But of course, you could illustrate this with a white onion or a brown onion, whatever is your preference. OK, so what I'm going to do is just slice the onion. So um, just wait one second. This won't take a second. You have to do it very carefully. And be very careful not to cut your finger. OK, not to worry about that. But anyway, um, here we have the inside of an onion. And I'd like to use the principle of the way that the onion is styrated to illustrate contamination control. Now, you'll probably be familiar that the inner part of the onion we can, it is the key bit that we want to keep in control, if we're going to follow this metaphor. Um, so this is the grade A zone. And the grade A zone is protected by the outer layer, which is the grade B. Then we have the grade C. And then we have the grade D. But another aspect that sometimes doesn't receive the attention that it should is the controlled but not classified area, the CNC. And this is how we get in to the clean room. Now we know that the new changing room project is going to make this more robust, but there's still things that we can do to protect the inner barriers of the clean room. So when we go through the changing room, it's really important that we, this is the first phase changing room of course, that we wash our hands, that we don't take outdoor shoes into the facility or coats. And then the way we go into the first stage changing room, the grade D changing room, is really important. We have to have restrictions on numbers. We need to wait a few minutes after someone else or the first group have gone through to let the particles to dissipate. Because the more people there are, the faster the changing process is, or the shorter the rest time between people going through, then the more chance there is of creating particles that are simply going to settle back down onto the supposed clean clothing that we're trying to do. And then we need to focus as we move from that initial de-changing room to the C, where we go for the transit, get our secondary suit, and then into the final stage B changing room. And here the particle deposition, the air dynamics become even more important because there we don't want to be taking particles on the final layers into the main facility. This concept also applies this whole CNC concept and the whole concentric areas of the onion in terms of how we interface, how we take goods into the facility from warehouse, how we take need to take off a layer when things come from the warehouse, how if something is wet, if we take something from the warehouse when it's raining, how we have to leave it until it's completely dry before it then goes through into the main unclassified corridor and then before it goes into say the sterile supplies lift and then as it, before it comes out of the lift, the next layer needs to be removed and disinfection practised. We also have vulnerabilities with airlocks, say how we get um, tools into the facility. And that's why we have a one best way of getting material in using the airlock and defined cleaning and disinfection regime through the line uh, three transfer hatch. So this is all really important and uh, just keep remembering multiple layers. We increase protection as we get to the centre and the onion allergy can be really useful to think about that concept. So if you don't get this right it could be a recipe for disaster. Also if we don't get it right then it won't just be the onions driving us to tears, we'll have contamination control problems throughout the facility. Okay, so coming in at five minutes, 
I'm Tim Sandal. Good luck with your shift and uh, be back with you in another video. Uh, maybe not from Tim's kitchen cabinet, but who knows where it would be and what the subject will be. So cheerio, goodbye and until next time.